Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Capricorn. How are you guys? How are you guys? To my subscribers, welcome back. To those of you who have been guided here for the first time, welcome. Welcome. I'm Lee. I'm Lee. And I am here to give you your tea. Okay? Yes, yes. And so if any of this resonate with any of you, this is going to be a general collective reading for Capricorns. It will not uh, resonate with all of you, you know. But for those of you who it do resonate with, if you would like to leave me a message, if you would like to uh, like the video so that it can circulate, you know, um, if you would like to like the video just to help me get it circulating so that Cinderella can find her shoe. That'll be great. That'll be great because we like to help each other, help each other, you know? And so we're here today to see if we can get a little beacon of light for Capricorn on their soul journey. To see if we can enlighten them in any way, always. Always, always with good intention. We try to, you know, every day we get a new opportunity to have a better day, to be a better person, to fix whatever it is that needs to be fixed, to align with whatever needs to be aligned with, to uh, reevaluate, adjust, whatever it is that you need to be doing in your life. Every morning when you wake up, thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you for whatever you feel as though you need to be thankful for health career finances family uh, love whatever whatever you feel as though that you want to start your day being grateful for right that's what we do that's what we do and that way we uh strive and we uh move toward having a fulfilling life you know it doesn't happen overnight we have cycles we have things that we got to go through we have things that we need to learn we have ups and downs you know in the everyday life situations that some people can overcome some people cannot you know and it's good to learn to be mindful you know, we continue to learn. We continue to learn. We are not perfect people. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. Whether your life, you think that, you know, for instance, you can see someone who is financially well off uh, or they can, um, you know, they can have beautiful this and beautiful that. A lot of materialistic things. That you look and you say, oh, wow, oh, yeah, they have good life going on. And some of those people be the emptiest people that you can ever meet. Shallow. Shallow. They have no, uh, no empathy. They have no emotions to give. They have no love to show. They have no respect for anyone. You know, they think they're better than other people. And in reality, everybody's life. It's just as important as the next person's life. Like, what I have doesn't make me better than you, and what you have doesn't make me make you better than me, you know? Because I may be financially stable and be emotionally depleted, right? I may be emotionally fulfilled, right? <laughs> and be financially fucked up. You know, me personally, I would rather be emotionally fulfilled working towards my finances than working on my finances and being empty inside. But that's just me personally. You know, I know a lot of Capricorns that like to work hard and they go all in and they put in all their time and all their energy and everything, you know, to build this, this lifestyle that... They, you know, they feel as though that they need in order to fulfill their lives. 
and they spent and they worked and they worked hard and there's nothing wrong with working hard we need to show up we need to show up every day for our lives and we need to put our best foot forward but we also need to understand that finances are a part of life you know money is energy um it helps you to to maintain to maintain right but it's only a little piece it's a piece of of a, a whole it's a piece of a whole okay it's a piece of a whole spirit you are welcome into the room the general collective of capricorn can we please get some enlightenment what capricorn may need to know in their life whether it's concerning financial matters whether it's concerning love matters or just any little messages that you would like to offer capricorn in their journey to help you know a perspective to be combined with your perspective or, or with your thoughts or you think you know it may not uh click today right as you see the video it might not resonate with you but in a week a month two you may be somewhere doing something and it will click and you'll be like wow i heard that or you know i was watching that and that's what lee was talking about and you know at the moment it didn't click you know what it is is that sometimes we're inside of a picture and so we're so involved in it that we cannot see the bigger picture right so it helps it helps it can really help when an outsider someone who's not inside the picture someone who's not a part of the picture to look from the outside in because you can see a wider perspective you know on your phone you put it on a um, I'm not sure the word right now landscape I think it's landscape and you can see the wider picture right but you won't be able to see that any other way unless you put it on that mode so so for some of you you have king of Ario successful stable accomplished and powerful your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely i guess that's why i had that message it was part of what they want to tell you part of what they want to tell you okay successful stable accomplished powerful your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely using resources wisely and so therefore you know capricorns are stable people they're stable people and and so it doesn't surprise me that for some of you You are being successful in whatever it is, whatever accomplishments, you know, whatever it is that you're setting your mind to, because dedication, you know, Capricorn show dedication, consistency, they show up for their lives. Ten of Michael, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's time to be the swan princess, baby. It's time to be the, the swan princess. Something had to end in order for you to maybe find yourself to uh, to find out for door new doors to open, right? For new doors to open, for new opportunities to open, you know? So that you may uh, perform while wow, the crowd. 
Yeah. And when I say perform, I'm not saying that you're putting on an act. What I'm saying is that you're showing up. You're showing up and you're putting on that show that you need to. You know, center stage. Your center stage of your own life. Yep. Center stage of your own life. Your own life, your destiny, your free will. You know, you're taking action towards what it is you want in your life in order for successful, stable, accomplishment, powerful. Yes. Yes. Can we get a few more for Capricorn before we go into the light seers? Spirit, ancestors. Thank you. Thirteen, peace. Archangel Azrael, release the past. There is more enriching future coming. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. This is awesome. This is awesome, Capricorn. I love it. I love it, Capricorn. You have King of Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. For some of you Capricorns, for some of you Capricorns, there is an end, the 10 of Michael, a completion. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Speak angels, speak. These are your archangel. These are their messages. These are their messages for you, Capricorn. Release the past. It said put the past behind you. And again, you got Archangel Michael telling you, and you got Archangel Azrael. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Amen. Let go and let God. You know, Sometimes times get difficult, you know, and we don't know what to do, how to react, what to change, what to do this, what to that. When you are just at your end of your wits, let go and let God. And I'm saying that in a literal sense, in a literal sense, if you need to drop down to your knees with the tears rolling down your face, because I know how I get, because I've been there and done that over many times where I just couldn't anymore. I just couldn't. And I'm not one of those people that just give up. I'm not one of those people that just give up. I'm not. But sometimes it's just too much. And one of those, you know, little sayings, one of those little quotes that we go by, you know, one of the ones that are on my list of go-tos is that um, the Lord doesn't give you more than you can bear, right? And and I and I strongly agree with that. And um, and I'm not uh. uh I'm not disagreeing with that. What I am saying is that as humans, right? Like the Lord can know that we can carry it. The Lord can know you 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 can you can carry that for two more blocks. You know, you you can you got this. You can do this, you know? But as humans, you know, we're not perfect. And so we can start drowning and we think we're dying. You know, we think we're dying, and all we have to do is stand up. It's a foot of water. Stand up, right? 
And we're like, but I can't, I can't, oh my God, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, you know, because I just don't see how I'm going to get out of this situation, right? And so we pray. For some of us, we pray. We pray. And, 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 you know, you can get to that point where you feel like your whole soul is leaving your body. And, 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 and you're terrified because you don't even know how to get it back. Or if, if this is really a reality, true, is this really happening to me, you know? And um, most definitely, I have on a couple of occasions let go and let God, you know, um, even recently. And it helps. And it helps. It helps to feel like you're not in it alone, even if you feel like you're in it alone, you know? And when I say you feel like you're in it alone, I mean that as far as there, you can be surrounded by people and feel alone. Yeah. You can go to places and things and stuff. You can you can make your life the busiest life in the world and feel alone. You still feel alone. You still feel it. You'll still feel it. You need to let go and let God and accept so that you can move forward. And then you have the nine of Michael. So you have the nine of Michael and the ten of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. You need to let go. You have to let go and let God. Wow, wow. That's why I love these angels. They just, their messages be like, they so clear in their messages. I absolutely adore it. I love it. Uh, it says, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feeling of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Wow. I mean, they can't even be more clear. They can't be more clear. For some of you Capricorns, I'm going to read it across all together just so that we can get the whole message in one good, you know, because... um. I mean, it's outstanding the way that they just gave you this uh, a little beacon of light, a little beacon of light. <clears throat> King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely, okay? 10 of Michael, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Will now follow. Put the past behind you. 13, peace. Archangel Azrael, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Amen. And then you have nine of Michael. Nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels this is just so outstanding and i feel like i need they're asking me to fool so maybe it's one more i'm not quite sure yet but we will it's telling you let go and let god because 
you will be able to succeed and you will be able to live in peace and you will be able to have the life that you desire. But you have to let the worry go because it's probably burdening you. The worry is burdening you more than that, what actually is probably going on. You know, the worry, the way you are reacting to it, you have to. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. It's too cute. Ask your angels <clears throat> for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Yeah. Working too much can become a burden. Yes, you will have the finances, right? To For whatever you need to do in your life, right? But you can lose your health. You could overwhelm yourself, you know, put in too much work and your back start hurting and your knees start hurting and your wrists start hurting and your hair starts hurting, you know. So we have to do things in moderation, in moderation, in moderation so that you can be healthy, you know, be healthy so that you can uh enjoy the fruits of your labor you know and life isn't really about pleasing others life is really about um being authentic to yourself and doing what you need to do to fulfill yourself in order to in order to be able to share that love with someone else to share you know, your life, uh, your ambitions, your goals. Um, if you have to love and respect and, and it starts with you. It starts with you, you know, it starts with you. First, you get you together. First, you work on you and know what you are bringing to the table. And the law of attraction normally works in the way where you will pull in what you are letting out. Yep. What we put out, whether it's good, love, emotions, support, all that, or bad, jealousy, envy, gossip, chaos, sabotage, it comes back to you three times full. Okay? Just FYI. <clears throat> and then you have the wheel. The wheel, new beginnings. End of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. Your angels just gave you the whole tea. Yes, they did. Yes, you're... They did. Your angels are telling you that your plans will work out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. All characteristics of Capricorn. All characteristics of Capricorn. Okay? Yes. Yes, they are reliable, they are um, dependable, they are, yes, stable, grounded people. Have you ever seen one of them goats up on that cliff? And they be right on the edge of the cliff and they don't fall for shit? Yeah, that's Capricorn. Um, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, and I'm not, these are the Archangel Power Tarot cards, right? I do have the lights here, right here. I was ready, right? But I don't want to take away from the message of the angels because they are clearly telling someone that something has ended, something that more than likely needed to end. Because in order for you to have a rebirth, in order for you to um, end the cycle of 
through each cycle when we come to that part of that cycle. Normally towards the end of the cycle or wherever, however, I'm not going to put limits and times on things, but you come to a part in your life, a place in your life where you will be tested. You will be tested and there's a lesson to learn. And depending on, do you learn that lesson the first time? Or do you learn it the same? If you don't learn it the first time, it stinks. If you don't learn it the second time, it can get real, it can get deep. By the third time, by the third time, it's real dark. By the third time, that lesson, that that lesson becomes a karmic lesson. And by the time, and when it becomes a karmic lesson, three strikes you out, three times full. Understand? The power of three. It has to die. It has to die. Not in a literal sense, just in a sense where this cycle has to end. And it may end, end forever. Like, if it's a, a job, you may leave that job and never turn back and never see those people ever again and, and not want to. Ever. But, 9 out of 10 is a rebirth. Rebirth. New doors opening up. Or, or, or you probably went to your boss and told your boss, you know, this ends today. This ends today. Either you show me my worth. Either you uh, give me a promotion or uh, you give me a raise or something has to show me that there is a purpose for me to be here or I'm walking out the door. And you might actually quit You have because it's a death. So it actually ends. It really actually ends. No mas. No mas. Right? And you walk away and you say, okay. Lord, I trust and believe in you that you're going to show me the way to that next door, right? Sometimes what's for you is for you. But people have free will. And so life shifts and life uh, pulls the rug from under you, right? In order to make you rearrange and see things differently. And, and, and fix the things that weren't right in order so that this next cycle can go more smoothly, right? So that boss may have thought, you know, when you was in the picture, may have thought or may have not seen your worth or may not have, uh, uh, let's just say they didn't really even realize that, you know, they were neglecting neglecting that you were putting in so much work emotion or uh, uh physical labor um, um you was coming in a little earlier you was leaving a little later you know you was really striving for whatever it is that it was right and then you're gone and now the pile of facts or emails, let's just say. Let's just say that the e all the emails weren't sent out this morning. Why wasn't all the emails sent out this morning? Oh, because so-and-so is not here. Right? Why is the coffee not on in the morning? Oh, because so-and-so is not here. Uh... I mean, it depends on your position, you know, it could be anything. It could be anything in your life or whatever, you know, you could work at a daycare and, 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 and the kids get there in the morning and they're wondering why their little, uh, a good morning smiley faces are not on their juices this morning. Miss, where's our smiley faces that was on the juices this every morning? They looked forward to coming to see every morning because that made their day brighter. The little smiley face with the black marker, right? Oh, 
because so-and-so is not here. And sometimes it takes us to remove ourselves. You know, you have to remove yourself, release, release. It says, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Sometimes we have to remove ourselves from the picture, people, places, and things, so that people, places, and things can understand what role we did play in the situation. And the boss, he might call you back with a raise. He might even call you back with a better position and a raise. Now, I, now I've really got a good position for you. I need you here, 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 and this, that, the third, and this is how much I'm going to pay you. Right? Because they see your value now. Because the emails, they wasn't sent out. Because the coffee wasn't made. Because nobody said good morning this morning. Right? Yeah. And so they either one, they will notice you gone. They will notice your worth. They will notice what part you played, which was a major role, which was a major role because you are center stage. You are center stage, right? And if you look at this card, it looks like it's a stage. It looks like there's a play going on, right? Two cards are center stage. And then we have like solace. Your you time. You time. Yep. So you have new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So the wheel is the end of a cycle, right? And we're coming to the end of the year. And so therefore a lot of uh, people are going through a, a ending of a cycle. And this past year was that uh, the retrograde and and, and 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 things was just really out of control and people were just people places and things was like a lot was going on in this world okay so a lot of people was going through a lot of stuff a lot of dark nights of the soul a lot of uh, 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 awakenings a lot of uh yes a lot of letting go a lot of putting the past behind it says your worry is unnecessary though focus your thoughts on the outcome and your desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels let go and let god ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load working too many hours trying too hard to please others New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that's offered you happiness. So for some of you Capricorns, let go and let God. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. And if you want to ask a question... Go ahead, Capricorn. Ask your questions to your angels. And we're going to pull some angel answers oracles. And we'll round you right on out of here. And I wish you always, always, always good intention in your new beginnings. They're not always, it's not easy to end things. It's not easy trying to restart your life. You know, it's not easy. You know, it's not even easy to let go and let God because, you know, sometimes we want to second guess and we're like, but, but, but why, but this, but that, but the third. Transition. Transition. Going from that caterpillar to that butterfly is a major, major, major transformation in your life. And it's not an easy one. You have to be in the cocoon, in the dark, for I'm not even sure how long. I'm going to have to research that because I would like to know. Okay? 
and you're in that cocoon you're in the dark alone in the dark alone just saying it is scary i know i know i know but you're shifting out of a cycle and so you're gonna leave the darkness behind you you know the little bag of cocoon you're gonna Frout out of there, butterfly with these big, beautiful wings, and you're gonna fly, you're gonna fly, you're never gonna see that cocoon again. Nope, for some of you. For some of you. And for others of you, um, if they call you back, you know, if they call you back to that position at work that wasn't fulfilling or whatever, you know, take a moment. Don't just say, oh, yeah, I'm coming right back right now. No, 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 no. You tell them, okay, I'm going to check my schedule. I'm going to check my schedule and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And you reevaluate that situation. You know, you reevaluate the situation and you see are they is this good for me do i want to return back to the cocoon you know or are they going to accept me as a butterfly you know and that is that's and then decide from there okay you guys so for some of you you have don't stop don't stop don't stop your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely ask your angels for help for people to lighten your load working too many hours trying too hard to please others right and then for your question it says reconsider reconsider so for some of you reconsider think it through you know but all of your angels are telling you to let go of the past, to let go of the past. So that's why when I said, if the boss calls you back, you make sure that you check your schedule and you get back to them as soon as possible. You don't have to give them an answer right away because there was a reason why you needed to transform there was a reason why there had to be a death of something a situation people places of things okay i'm saying financial and i'm speaking resources because it's speaking financial and speaking resources to me and in all the cards it's one person okay except for the fact that your angels are with you look your angels are with you the angels are with you the angels are with you your angel is watching you your angel is offering you something the angel is walking you and even though you see one set of footprints, it's because they carry you. Capricorn. So don't stop. Don't stop. Make your decision and go forward with it and be consistent and keep moving forward and fly, baby. Fly to the mountaintops, okay? Because the Lord got your back. Your angels got your back. You know, let go and let God, Capricorn, let go and let God, okay? And please subscribe, like, so that the video can circulate. If you hit the little notification bell and you push all, you will know when the tea is bubbling, bubbling. <laughs> and that was your tea, honeys. That was your tea with Lee. Have a great day. Enjoy. Let go and let God, let go and let God find peace within and make your dreams come true, you know?
come out of the cocoon and fly, butterfly, fly, butterfly, fly.